As I've mentioned previously, one of the things I really like about the VIC-20 is how flexible the video display is. Uh, by default, the VIC-20 shows a 22 by, two, uh, by 23 display. But this can be changed. Uh, it can be reduced or it can be increased. If we reduce it, then we also gain extra memory, which we can use for basic or for our machine code programs. And if we expand it, then we have to accept that we're going to lose some of the memory. But, um, but the great thing about the VIC is it allows us or allows the programmer to make that choice. So in this video, I want to demonstrate how we can change the, uh, the video screen dimensions and show how, that, uh, how we'll manage that uh, memory change. I've created a couple of demonstration programs to show how that works. So I'm using here an unexpanded VIC-20 uh, with a PAL display. So I've got plenty of screen real estate to play around with. The uh, two locations to change the number of columns and the number of lines being displayed are location hex 9002, which is decimal 36866, and that controls the number of columns being used. And the other location is uh, hex 9003, uh, decimal 36867, which controls the number of lines being used. Uh, but both of these are also used for other things. So, for example, with the number of lines, uh, 36867, that also uh, indicates the uh, bit 7 of that uh, is part of the raster beam location, and bit 0 is the character size. So I only want to alter bit 6 to 1 to change the number of lines. So therefore, I need to take account of what's already in that location. And uh, because, um, because the number of lines is starting from bit 1, so bit 6 to 1, then I want to double the number of lines to shift it over. So I'm going to alter the screen size to um, 27, no, 18 columns. So I'll put there 36. There we are. So that's altered uh, the number of columns to 36. And I'll also move the uh, screen down a little bit so it's more centralized. There we are. Uh, that's using that's moving the TV picture origin using um, uh, which we've seen demonstrated in a previous video that uh, you can have a look at on the Tech Tinkering YouTube channel. Uh, I'm doing the lines first and then the number of columns because I don't want to increase the size of the screen map. So by default, the VIC-20 has a 22 by 23 display, and that it takes up 506 bytes. The screen map has enough room for 511 bytes, but if I were to alter the screen uh, first, uh, sorry, alter the width before I alter the height, then we would have too big a screen map. So I'm going to do it in this order. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is alter the number of lines. So I'm going to use location 36866. And again, this is also used for other things. Bit 7 is used as bit 9 of the 14-bit screen address. And it also toggles the location of the color map. So again, I need to take into account what's already there. So I'm going to set the, the number of columns to 27. Right. Now, this has created um, a number of problems. BASIC isn't designed to display the screen dimension. So the screen the, uh, the printing is all over the place. It doesn't really matter too much for this demonstration, as I'll correct that later. So I'm going to shift over the screen. I'm going to move the TV origin over to the left. There we are. Now we've got a nice centralized screen there. Uh, so we've got our screen and uh, a 27 by 28, sorry, a 27 by 18 screen, which we've got here, uh, will use 486 bytes. So that's less than the 506 bytes that a 27, a 22 by 23 screen uses. 
Uh, so that saved us a little bit of room. Uh, we could even reduce it further if we wanted. Uh, we could reduce it to a 16 by 16 screen. And um, We'll leave it at 16 by 18 actually, rather than mucking about. Uh, but uh, a 16 by 16 screen, if we did change it to that, that would um, that would only take 256 bytes. So we would save 256 bytes on the screen map. We would also save 268 bytes on the color map, which would allow us to save 500 bytes in total. Which for a system with as little memory as the VIC-20, that's quite a saving, which could be used for other things. If, the, if those screen dimensions would work for the program that we wanted. Uh, but for the moment, I'll set that back to uh, 27. There we are. And I'll show how to... Um, how to put a character on this screen because as you can see the basic isn't doing it properly so we'll poke directly into the screen map so on an unexpanded VIC-20 the default screen map is located at uh, 7680 so I'll put a I'll put the spade character on the far right of the screen middle way halfway up so I'll put it at column 26 so we're going to start the columns from 0 to 26, giving 27 in total. And uh, I have row 9, again, 0 to, um, 0 to 17. So uh, row 9, and then there's 27 columns. And I'm going to put the spade character there. Now it won't display to start with because I also need to alter the color map. So I'll alter that. The default color map is at location 38400. And I'll make that red. And there we are. So that allows us to poke directly into the screen map and therefore we can sidestep the problem with basic, um, with basic not being able to display properly to the screen size. Uh, so that works fine. Um, the main problem arises when we want to increase the size of the screen because then we need to move the screen map and the color map to give enough room to um, to be able to display a bigger screen. And uh, and that's what I'm going to show next. So I'm going to uh, reset the VIC-20 and then I'll demonstrate that. The screen map and the color map are located in different locations depending on the configuration of the VIC-20. So on an unexpanded and systems with the 3K expander, 3K RAM expansion, then the screen map is after BASIC. So you have um, room for the BASIC tokenized code, then variables, BASIC variables, and then the screen map. And then the color map is located at the end, as you can see on this, uh, on this diagram. On systems with 8K or more RAM expansion, then the screen map precedes the basic RAM and with the color map in a slightly different location. So this creates a bit of a problem because if we expand the screen map, then on a system, uh, unexpanded or a 3K system, then the screen map is going to encroach into basic. It's going to go into the variables so that's no good if we lower the screen map location. So we would in turn have to lower uh, basic. Alternatively, on systems with 8K or more, because the screen map is before the basic location, if we increase the size of the screen map, then we're going to be going into where the basic tokenized code is. So we will have to raise the bottom of basic, which creates a another problem because if we do that, then the code that we were running to do that uh, will then be corrupted. So we may want to restart the system. There's a number of ways around that, uh, but, uh, but it's something we need to take in, into account. For these demonstrations though, uh, at least for this demonstration so far, uh, because 
because I'm not uh, running any ba basic tokenized code, we're just doing it straight uh, from the um, uh, from the command mode, then we don't need to worry about it quite yet. So I'm going to move the screen map address using location 36869, and I'm going to alter that to location 240. Uh, sorry, I'm going to set that to 240, which is the bits that represent uh, what I want to alter for the, um, the screen map. So it'll actually set the screen map to location hex 1C00, decimal 7168. So I'll change that. And then I'll also change the number of columns to 27. Which, uh, which will also alter the color map because bit 7 of location 36866. Uh, toggles which uh, whereabouts the color map will be. So it'll set the color map to hex 9400 uh, decimal 37888 and the number of columns to 27. So I'll do that and then I'll go down to the bottom. There we are, we're down there. And I'll alter the number of rows. So we'll do that, I'll set the number of rows to a 33 as we have done previously, using uh, location 36867. So I know it's not displaying on the screen, but it will show it in a minute. There we are. So that's all for that. I'm going to move the screen origin to somewhere that's a bit more comfortable, so you can see it properly, and I'm going to lift up a bit, and there we are. So, so we've altered the screen map now, so it's in a better location. We can see at the top though it's all corrupted, and, um, and that's again just because basic is not meant to be displaying to that location, it's not expecting it. Uh, but uh, we can do the same pokes that we did before, but in the new location. Should be 37888. There, and you can see that that symbol has changed to a red one. And if I go to the new location, and we'll put the heart symbol there, uh, the spade symbol. No, so that's again that's what uh, that's worked fine. So we're using the new screen map now, so we've got more room. Uh, but we do have the problem of the amount of space that that's taking uh, taking away from basic. So we can reduce the uh, size of basic. Uh, we can do that uh, by poking location fifty five. Back. We find a little the screen that's actually displaying so you can see what we're doing. There we are, just like that. Out. So if I poke to 55 comma zero and there's more about this in the article that uh, accompanies this video. And that will alter the uh, the it, that'll alter the uh, top of basic uh, to uh, location hex uh, one c zero zero. I'll do a CLR to get rid of all the variables and. And see we've lost a bit of memory. So, um, so, so that demonstrates that. And the other problem that we have is that if um, if we're using a system that's an 8K system or more, uh, then we have to alter the bottom of basic, which is a little bit more complex. But uh, the main thing I want to show now, though. It's just to demonstrate how these programs would work 
uh, if it's all put together. So I put a little basic program together. Uh, that's on the article that accompanies this. It's also in a GitHub repo uh, that I've created with a uh, another program, which I'll demonstrate at the end of this video. So I'm going to reset the, uh, the VIC-20 now. So the first program I want to demonstrate, or use to demonstrate this, I'll load now. And then uh, this will show a 27 by 33 screen. The first thing it does is clear the screen. So it's wiping through each byte of the screen map and the character map. And then it's going to display multiple hello worlds. If I alter the uh, screen character map to a lower case, then there we are. We can see that printed nicely. So it's quite slow because it's having to do a lot of calculation for each character of the uh, of the strings that it's printing. This could be sped up a little bit, uh, especially if we used machine language, uh, which would speed up considerably. But it demonstrates it quite well. There we are. We've got a 27 by 33 screen. Uh, we're displaying properly to that screen without any corruption. And we're doing all that on an unexpanded VIC-20. And we've done that without corrupting the program. So it still allowed us to use the variables in that program. So I'm going to list um, this program up on the screen now. And then you can see uh, a little bit more how it works. And to look at it properly, do have a look at the article. And you can see it properly there. And you can also have a play with it on the GitHub page, uh, the GitHub repo. Uh, but ultimately, the, uh, the important lines Uh, around here, where uh, at line 110, we're poking to a uh, lower basic over the top of basic, and then we're telling the um, we're telling the program that the screen map will now be at location 7168, color map at 3788, and then if we look uh, a little bit further down. We can see where we set up the screen. So um, location 310 is setting up the uh, screen map to hex 1C00. And then location 3866 is setting the width and the color map to hex 9400. And then we've got our uh, location 3867 altering the height, 3864 uh, altering the offset, uh, the x offset, 3865 volt and the y offset, and then the program goes through. So uh, that's quite a clear demonstration. I've tried to comment it quite well. But as I say, it's a lot clearer on the article on the, uh, on the website. I've now switched to an NTSC system uh, just to show uh, users of those systems that uh, this works fine uh, with them as well. And, uh, and I've also switched to a system that uses, uh, that has an 8K expansion uh, to show how we can alter the, uh, the bottom of BASIC. So I'll load the program in. Uh, again, this program is on the GitHub repo uh, that I mentioned before, and that's linked to from the article on the Tech Tinkering website. And to find the relevant bit here. So there we are. So if we look at line 270, uh, this is for systems that it detects that have got more than uh, 8K or more uh, RAM expansion. So it's doing that poke 783,0, and then it's doing poke 781,133. Vote 782,19, and then 65436. So that will alter the, uh, the the bottom of basic. So it'll set it to location hex 1385. And then on line 290, after it's waited for us to press a key, it's going to sys 58232, which will do a cold restart 
of the machine. So what would happen, so the way this essentially works is that we would run the program like this, and it's asking us, do we want to move basic? If we said no, and I said I wanted to do my 27 by 33 screen, we used before, something like that, I can't remember, then it would tell me that the screen map is too small, so I'd have to reduce the basic size. Uh, I could do another size, which is smaller, and that would work fine. Uh, so I could say no, 16 by 16, and um, we'll just leave the defaults in just because I want to quickly show this. And there we are, it's displaying hello world. So that's using the uh, 16 by 16 screen. But what I really want to show is uh, moving the bottom of basic. So if I run the program again, this time I do want to move the bottom of basic. So it's moved it, but uh, or at least it will move it once I've reset. So I'll reset, and now if I load the program again, It'll detect that basic has been moved. And it won't ask me the question again. So I want to run 24, because 27 would be too wide for this NTSC system. You can see we don't have a lot of border left. So 24 by 28. And I have to offset it a little bit. So there's room. And there we are. So we're clearing the screen. And um, this program has done all that we've already described. Uh, but this time, rather than raising, lowering the top of BASIC, it's raised the bottom of BASIC to make more room for the screen map. And uh, you can have a play with that, this program. As I say, it's on the GitHub repo linked to from the article. And uh, it, between the two programs, you get a really good idea then of how this all works and uh, how you may want to use it in your own programs. So uh, hopefully you found these demonstrations interesting and useful. I'm sorry if it's been a little bit chaotic at times. It's uh, quite a lot happening to describe how this should work, depending on all the different setups. That is one of the problems of Vic20, of course, is that there are lots of different configurations. And with the screen map and the color map and basic, because it can move about in different locations and expects different things depending on how you've got it configured. It is a little, a little bit more tricky uh, than if you just stick to one system, say the unexpanded. But, uh, but there we are. Uh, so um, uh, do please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, have a look at the accompanying article on the Tech Tinkering website and our other articles and other videos around uh, vintage computers. And uh, thank, you, uh, thank you for watching.